consider yourself a rational, logical, and impartial person? If you replied yes to this question, maybe you want to think again, because we may not be as impartial as we think, because we are all impacted by a phenomenon called confirmation bias. We look for evidence which supports our existing beliefs, while we disregard evidence which goes against our existing beliefs. My name is Giuseppe Conti, I'm a business school professor and the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. To help you understand more about confirmation bias, let me share with you a classical study from Charles Lord. He shared a qualitative report about death penalties with two groups of people. A group of people which was in favor of capital punishment and a group of people which was against capital punishment. Imagine what happened when this report was shared with a group of people which was in favor of capital punishment, they said, look, this report confirms capital punishment works. And when the same report was shared with a group of people which was against capital punishment, they came to the conclusion, absolutely, this study confirmed that capital punishment does not work. But confirmation bias happens all the time in our real life. Maybe you develop a new strategy and you look for all the evidence that the strategy is working and you disregard the information which is contrary to your views. Maybe you have a certain view about vaccines and then you look for all the evidence that confirms your existing views. Maybe you look for information on the web and you keep looking on those websites that have the same views as yours. So recognizing that confirmation bias is part of our daily life, then what can you do to minimize the effect of confirmation bias? A first thing is to write down your beliefs about life, about marriage, about career, about investment, and then look for opposite evidence. A second idea is reconsider the sources that you use to make important decisions. A third idea is surround yourself with people with different views and listen to those different views. How about if you want to help other people not to be impacted by confirmation bias? A proven strategy that was also evidenced by research is to encourage people to consider the opposite. What do we mean? Let's go back to the study on capital punishment. Let's say that the study says, you know, with capital punishment, the number of murders decrease. And then, you know, groups may have taken a certain conclusion from this data. And then you also ask them, but what kind of conclusion will you draw if the data indicated the opposite direction, that the number of murders increase? And this is an effective strategy to reduce the impact of confirmation bias. For important decisions, another strategy is to appoint into the team a devil's advocate that brings a different perspective to the team discussion. For more insight on negotiation and infancy, check our website www.cadl.ch. Thank you.